Oh, what is happening in here? In here with the millions. <laughs> And the millions of J-Rock fans from all over the world. J-Rock is here because we got ourselves 12 more minutes of Demon Soul gameplay. Apparently this came out on Saturday. I wasn't able to watch it. I uh, was busy this weekend. But J-Rock is here right now for the millions of his fans to give his live reaction. So, let's not wait any longer. Let's check this thing out. Hello, I'm Gavin Moore, creative director for Demon Souls. This is a remake of monumental scope and ambition, transforming a beloved PlayStation Classic into a stunning showcase for the PlayStation 5. In every respect, Demon's Souls looks, sounds, and feels right at home in this next generation of gaming. Uh, We're all massive fans base. of the original game, customer and we wanted to bring everything we possibly could <coughs> up to a level that modern gamers expect. And that includes the power and variety at your control in the character creator, from facial customization to hair types. There are many thousands more permutations for you to explore, right, empowering you to make an avatar you can relate to, whoever that might be. Because Jay Rock is going to bring the world. Demon Souls is anchored by a hub. The Nexus. The Nexus is how you'll get to the game's five Arstones, each of which leads to a different land in Boletaria. There are also many NPCs here who are a key part of the storytelling experience. We were lucky enough to bring back many of the original cast to take on their iconic roles. Now let's enter the first Archstone, the Archstone of the Small King, and start our journey at the gates of Boletaria. Sixty frames per second, man. Can make damn near any game. I mean, the graphics, they have the graphics. You had to go back into that thing. I don't know about all the ray tracing. I don't really, I don't really too much care about ray tracing personally. Me, I take frames and fluidity. Now, the oh, real the demon souls personally. begins. Attacking, blocking, and dodging all use stamina, so the player must always consider where they are, what they're facing, and what their foes are capable of. Now these jigglings aren't particularly daunting, their patterns are relatively simple, and their attack ability is somewhat limited. Still, yeah. even these earliest enemies can pose a threat if the player loses focus. I don't see a lot of new rage compilations for this game. For those who played Demon Souls on PlayStation 3, you'll notice enemies behave exactly as you remember. Though you can play at 60 frames a second in performance mode, and animations have been completely redone, combat timing is just as it was. We're actually using original code for these core gameplay pillars, the untouched essence of the game around which everything else has been beautifully remade. It's a modern engine driving this white knuckle combat experience where the slightest error could mean your death. Right, right. Watch your step. We're playing in performance mode, which targets 60 frames a second, running at a beautiful dynamic 4K. There's also a cinematic option that's an even more vivid native 4K, targeting 30 frames a second. Whether your preference is fluidity and responsiveness, yep. or simply the most detailed possible experience, the game is a feast for the senses on PlayStation 5. Yeah, so this is one of those games where you got your stamina bar, so you're going to have to... Uh, I don't know if this has a lock-on capability or not, but you're going to have to use your directional or your joysticks or 
We've added thousands upon thousands of new sound effects to take advantage of the PlayStation 5's impressive Tempest 3D audio. Now you can hear Imperial spies in the Palace of Boletaria creeping up behind you, or a creature slithering out of the slime in the Valley of Defarma, far below. Now you can experience this stunning world in 3D audio just by connecting a headset. That's what they said. We're also they, really excited they, about they the DualSense wireless controller's haptic feedback. You we wanted to make combat feel grittier and darker, so this is the perfect way to feel sense. steel clash against steel, or the crackle of a anyway. fireball in the palm of your hand before you cast it at your enemies. Yeah, I was saying earlier, you're gonna have We've to left the open air of Boletaria and descended into the lair of the Flame Lurker, deep within Stonefang Mines. Flame Lurker is one of the most beloved of all of the Demon Souls bosses, and here he's brought to life in amazing detail. The real-time lighting and incredible particle effects, as well as a deadly redesigned arena, all culminate in a spectacular battle set in a world of fire. And the music here as you battle Flame Lurker is one of many incredible tracks created for Demon Souls. On PlayStation 5, we've rearranged and fully reorchestrated Shinsuke Kida's breathtaking score with 120 world-class musicians performing at the legendary Air Studios in London. Tower of Latria. This is the first part of the third archstone. It's truly one of the most unforgettable areas in Demon Souls. It's so haunting and claustrophobic. Yeah. It's rife with detail and countless nooks and crannies. On PlayStation 5, we've radically increased the object density. The stage is absolutely littered with rubble, broken vases, and abandoned clutter. It's an amazing set piece for enemy encounters. These mind flares, for example, cast glowing projectiles down long corridors. For all of the added or enhanced like effects like that, these, um, we've endeavored to strike a balance between dread and beauty, the air, echoing the tragic fall like of the once glorious, but now doomed kingdom of Doesn't appear to be that in this game. You get too close to the edge, buddy, you're done. Nice, nice job. I'm sold on this game enough to play it. Well, the beautiful thing about Gamefly is that if you like the game, you can keep it. And they give you like a, a little bit of a discount on it. So if I end up liking the game, I'll just keep Moving it. Moving on to the rain so shrine of storm. Each class of Demon uh, Souls has a radically different like, feel. I mean, not God Knights in their armor are tough, but a bit clumsy when dodging an attack. The thief, on the other hand, is quick and sure of foot. But requires oh, finesse to inflict a killing okay, blow. Uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Woo, good move. Nice. You don't need all your five senses on this thing. I can't wait to feel the, the controller though, that dual sense controller with the haptic feedback, adaptive triggers and all that stuff. I, I, I want to get my hands yeah, Veterans might have noticed that we've added out. new animations for this all weapon type. Of down. course, we made sure to match the timing and feel of the original attacks. It's a small change, but it helps make each weapon choice feel a little bit more unique you can and makes the thrill right. of landing a perfect backstab all the more satisfying. Okay. Anyone who played Demon Souls on PlayStation 3 knows that the Valley of Defilement is one of the most challenging, demanding levels in the game. We're so excited for those players to revisit this gloomy this resting Brody. swamp, now with performance mode at a targeted 60 frames per second. Like 
This area was a particular challenge because we wanted to preserve the occasionally disorientating, almost maze-like nature of the stage while building on the mythos of Boletaria. After all, this is a place of outcasts and the unwanted. We wanted the valley to feel much more alive with the PlayStation 5 remake, and it gave us a rare chance to revisit a truly iconic level in gaming history. Is that piss and vinegar? And before we wrap up, here's a first look at the Dirty Colossus, a nightmarish mishmash of detritus that's been discarded from above. Your best oh, bet for success here is to keep your distance and time your attacks carefully and use a weapon that can burn through this toxic monstrosity. Yeah, burn it down, but it's still rolling in this. So burn it up. Burn it all. You've just gotten a taste of what's awaiting you this November. Demon Souls is one of the most celebrated gems in PlayStation history. It defined a new genre of action RPGs, focused on tactical combat, environmental storytelling, groundbreaking synchronous and asynchronous multiplayer elements, and an emphasis on trusting the player to learn, master, and ultimately to triumph. SIE Worldwide Studios and Bluepoint Games are honoured to be able to remake this classic for those who hold it dear and for a whole new generation of gamers to discover. Thank you for watching. j -Rock says this. I'm sold on playing the game. I've never played a, a Souls game before, Dark or Demon, uh, Blood or Born. But I am sold on the this particular game. It looks good. Um, and I like the uh, upgrades that were made to it and um, yeah yeah I think I'm pre pretty much be playing this like I said I'm gonna get it through Gamefly I'm not gonna buy it outright because I don't know if I would like it but it looks good enough to play that's for damn sure so until that game arrive I won't be able to play get that game Demon Souls until the following week because for whatever reason Gamefly has a week delay on the release of this not sure why you know something I might, I might go ahead and buy this damn game I just might because see that'll be but, but I gotta wait a minute because I got Assassin's Creed I got Godfall I got Miles Morales I don't know I'm 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 I'm, I'm I don't know yet. I don't know. I gotta wait and see. I gotta wait and see if I can get that one too. But I will be playing it. Whether I buy it or rent it. Either way, J Rock will be whooping some ass in this game. Um Is this gonna be day one for some of y'all? Are y'all are y'all interested in this game at all? Um You which games are you playing first? Miles Morales right here. I already told y'all that. Y'all playing this first? Because there are some people saying like this game and Miles Morales is like Ooh, it's a, it's a flip of a coin. They don't even know. But we're going to have to wait and see. I want to know what you guys think and which game you're going to be playing first. So uh, post your comments down below and let your rock know what you thought of his reaction to that video. No rhyme intended on that line. And if you enjoyed the Great One's reaction, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the People's Channel and share this video with everybody all over social media. All right? And let the world know that the YouTube People's Channel, J-Rock, is here. 
Also, any reaction requests you got, you want me to check out a video or whatnot, put it in the comment section below. Or you can go to the People's Facebook fan page right up her and put your request there. I'll shout you out in the video if I choose your video. Lastly, hit that bell so that you can be notified when it is time to be electrified. <coughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for joining Jay Rock. Until we meet again. Mamba, Gigi, and Wakanda forever. If you smell what J-Rock is.